no one, and I repeat, absolutely no one gets to pretend to be surprised. This woman made her start in reality TV. Like that's like that's the only reason she's a name and she got brand sponsorships to the industry, the entertainment industry, you know, propped her up to a point where she was able to snag herself Jay Cutler, a dude who, you know, for the most part, just a chill guy. Like he even when he was playing, right? He's a football player. He played for Chicago Bears most notably. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he had other destinations as well. Uh, last year was in Miami, if memory serves me correctly. And you know he's made like 120 million dollars. So you know, it, playing football, being as physically, you know, exerting as much physical um, energy as one can exert throughout the course of a lifetime. And now, you know, my man wants to kick back a little bit, relax, and she's filed for divorce in a country where over 70% of divorces filed are via women. Who is, like, how? Like, like when you come up, when 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 an individual comes up in such vapidity, right? I'm, I'm not sure if, you know what I mean, vapid, um, pointless, just there to sell shit, not there to build shit or create shit, just sell shit. Um, <laughs> like, the, the, if this is anyone's surprise, they are sorely lacking. I'm sorry. They they really are. But let's get into this page six article. Christine, Kristen Cavallari divorcing, quote, lazy Jay Cutler because he was unmotivated. You don't have the career he had. Regardless, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, did he win a championship? Of course not. But the deal is, is that did he play well enough to, you know, get to playoffs and, and, and handle the job as well better than you or I ever could have? Of course he did. So that's why he ended up making his bread. And now he wants to raise his family and be there. Apparently there's a farm involved. And she's just like, yo, you're lazy and unmotivated. Wow. Wow, just the arrogance. My God, uh, let's look at the little video. Kristen Cav Cavallari was reportedly divorcing Jay Cutler due partially due to his less than stellar work ethic. Oh, says a woman that's never like, yeah. My brain's frying. Uh, press play on that. Sources close to, oh, they got the other thing uh, lined up. Let's just read it. Kristen Cavallari is divorcing Jay Cutler uh, because she was sick of the former NFL star lying around the house, page six is told. The Hill star married Cutler in 2013 when he was a quarterback with the Chicago Bears. And we're told she thought he was lined up for a demanding career as a sports broadcaster after he hung up his cleats. Never really struck me as that kind of guy, though. Uh, but sources said say that after his broadcasting career faltered, the ever ambitious Cavallari, who announced in late April that the pair were splitting, found him unmotivated and even lazy. While he found that he had a panache for hanging out with his three kids in a menagerie of animals on their Tennessee farm, so he's enjoying his life. He's enjoying the life he created for himself, and she's just like. You're lazy. Like, yo. Like, hey, you've been home for like 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. She was growing increasingly impatient with him. He was supposed to make to take this big job at Forks. Forks. My goodness, Jay. Get it together. At Fox Sports. And have a life after football that would get him off up off the couch and do something, said an insider. And said he backed out. This is three years ago. And joined the Miami Dolphins. Okay, so, yeah, he played, what was that, I guess in 2018? That didn't pan out well. And he was left with no TV gig until she got the show for them. Because I gotta be in a spotlight. It gotta be about me. Slay Queen. <laughs> Y'all folks <are> liabilities. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, liability. Because he's just like wanting to relax. In 2017, after eight seasons with the Bears, Cutler retired to pursue a broadcasting career, then came out of retirement and spent one injury marred season with the Dolphins. The couple moved on to star in the E Reality series, Very Cavallari. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh God disgusting which follows her jewelry business that's such a cringe very cavalry oh my 
<laughs> oh my god, yo, that sounds so damn pretentious. And their family and has so far aired for three seasons. Of course. Uh, the source added that Cavalry views herself as very polished and put together, and Cutler as this lazy, unmotivated guy. Like, he just, he seems chill. Like, he, he always came across that way. Like, that's probably a big part of how he was able to go so long in the league, because, like, honestly, if, 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 if until, like, certain moments that, you know, I'm not going to get into because this isn't a sports channel, um, I mean, Cutler it just seemed like a cool, like, he ain't gonna let a, a lot get to him type guy. Like, that just seems to be his personality. And her, she's just... <sighs> Suck you, bye. Cutler has uh, lately been mulling another attempt at a broadcasting career, and according to their reality show, show, has had offers from CBS and ESPN. When she announced the breakup, Cavallari told on, wrote on Instagram, With great sadness, after 10 years together, we have come to a loving conclusion to get a divorce. She, I'm, I'm sure, she said. It's just a situation of two people growing apart. Reps didn't get back to us. Okay, so, yeah... Yeah, she, she, this was always, like, this, this was something that, you know, maybe if, uh, Jay, like, at the time, it just had a, a little bit more of an eye on, he'd been able to see that, because, I mean, what else are you gonna do with it, right? Like, what else, what, what else could happen when you have someone who is just so spotlight hungry, the only reason she married you was because of your position, and now that you can no longer do for her, She's just like, <laughs> you lazy, bruh. Even though he's, like, honestly, the, you can't, no matter how you look at athletes, you can't sit there and say, oh, these are lazy. Like, calling an athlete, calling a professional athlete lazy. And this is, even like the, the guys that play professional minor league, whatnot, what have you, calling these people lazy is, it's so disrespectful, for real. It really is. So, guys, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like the toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you like, aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for, noti for, for, bang bell for notifications <laughs> and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Like, come on, man. Like, really, you're going to call a professor like you who's, ne who's never dug a hole, never picked up a, more than likely never picked up a weight or does, but like, you know, like working out so she can remain, you know, good looking for the cameras. I have no doubt that she works out and like to, to but let's be real. It's, uh, it's much different than that of what a professional athlete does. And she's, oh my goodness, that's terrible. It really is. I, I, I feel bad for my guy, but hopefully... You know, the we'll see how it all plays out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until the next one.